The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello guys, welcome to the free Salesforce career guidance by Intelogic. Let's start your lesson of today for your Salesforce school on YouTube platform. So today we are going to have the Salesforce real-time scenario based interview questions part 5. So let's learn something more about interview questions. Here comes the first question. What is the validation rule in Salesforce? So when they will ask this question, you can answer that validation rule is nothing but a mechanism in Salesforce by which we can avoid unwanted data entry into the Salesforce software. As apart from that, we can give error message to the customer user on the screen. And this way you can avoid the user to enter such kind of data, which is not allowed in the business process. Here comes the next question. What are the types of validation rules? So we are having two types of validation rules. One is standard validation rule. Let's say, for example, you are entering wrong email address. So it will give automatically error message, which is by default given by Salesforce. But other one is the custom validation rule. Let's say age should not be more than 60 or for example, quantity should not be less than two, etc. Those are customized validation rule called as custom validation rule. So standard and custom validation rule. These are the two validation rules we have in Salesforce. Here comes the next question. What is VLOOKUP function in Salesforce? So VLOOKUP is a special type of function in Salesforce by which actually we can find out something in the column. Like you can check some kind of compare with some kind of zip code and you can compare with some kind of data with a column like an, like an like Excel VLOOKUP. So VLOOKUP is also called as vertical lookup. It's a kind of a full form is vertical lookup where actually we can take a kind of function and search a certain value in a particular column. And this way you can actually perform this information, like you can perform this information searching in a vertical mode. So that is something we use in the validation rule and also in various cases. And uh, especially for searching the zip code compared to the different data, we use the VLOOKUP. Here comes the next question. What is external ID? So whenever we are loading the data into Salesforce and for that we are taking the benefit of absurd operation in the data loader at that time to have a common data between the external data and Salesforce data, we use external ID. Let's say we are loading the data from .NET to Salesforce or Java to Salesforce. At that time, the external ID works like an intermediate entity and help us to identify whether the record is already present in Salesforce or it's a new entry record. This way external ID helps us to perform this operation and now here comes the next and last question what is governor limit in salesforce okay now governor limit is nothing but a mechanism by which we can ensure that any resources in salesforce will not be over utilized because salesforce is working on a shared cloud system and that is the reason one company one user over utilizing the resources is not going to work. A company using too many SOPL queries, a company using too many DMLs is not going to work because the same server is being shared by other companies as well. So Salesforce set some rules and regulations which every company has to follow and let's say for example only in one transaction 150 DMLs or in one transaction only 100 SOPL queries and we have to work with that governor limit only to ensure everything will be going smooth. So these are the rules which is which are set by Salesforce to ensure the working will happen smoothly in the shared environment. So this way you can answer these kind of questions in the interview guys. And let's, with, let's meet with more such useful questions in the next video. Till then, enjoy your learning of Salesforce and prepare very well for your upcoming interviews. Thank you.